Today I'm going to show you how to change or add a module to a temperature controller. I'm going to use for our example a 2216E, a 2416, sub 22R1, and sub 24R2. First we will start with a 2216E. The first step is to take the controller out of its sleeve by pulling these tabs and sliding it out. The next step is to remove this red piece of plastic, which you can do with a screwdriver. And this can just be thrown away or tossed aside. So here are the two slots on the controller, slot one and slot two. The easiest way to access them is to uh, remove this board. Uh, you can do that by pulling on these two pieces of plastic here and it slides out. Um, slot one, slot two. All you need to do is line up the pins and that is it. Um, then this slides back. Make sure it clicks into place. Take the sleeve. Sometimes it takes a little wiggle to get in, and there you have it. One thing to keep in mind when adding or changing modules is that you will get a hardware error, and that can be fixed uh, by watching our video, How to Clear a Hardware Error on a Temperature Controller. The 2400 series controllers are a little bit different, but they do open the same way by pulling on these tabs, sliding it out. Slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. If you look at the module, it has a groove which slides into that one. If you hold the module firmly against it and slide it in, make sure that it sinks up tight. On the back of the controller, you have these locks. Take a screwdriver. And then slide it in and you are all set. And like I said with the other controller that you will get a hardware error when adding new modules or changing them. Um, you can fix this by uh, following the steps in our video how to clear a hardware error on a temperature controller. Thanks for watching.